You were goofy. Mm. Hey y'all. Good morning. We are getting ready to move the goats and Samson. And uh, we just kind of zigzagging back and forth across here. We're leaving a strip of grass on the back side so that we can work them back to where we started once we start get all this again. eaten down. Do what? I said then start over again. Yep. So we get our fencing for them. So um, Exactly. We're gonna do that and then I think we're gonna just go around and kinda do morning chores. Do morning chores, feed critters, check on everybody and Get into our day. Have a, ready? Okay, hold up. Okay. The yep. Move that. Yep. So several step process to move the goats. Baby's still on there. Yeah. Rosemary stays on there. We okay, had this, this dog house here. And I had uh, joked about taking Buster's doghouse. I just want to point out that that is not Buster's doghouse. He's still, <laughs> I know I didn't clarify that in the other video. Um, he still has his doghouse. This was a different doghouse. We didn't Water steal bike. poor little Buster's doghouse. No. That would not have been nice. All right. Here's the goats. Nice fresh grass. They're happy. Except Rosemary's still in the house. She She's still a little wary. She'll eat right out of, Kylie is like the animal whisperer. So yeah, she Kylie is. can pet her and she'll eat right out of her hand. She'll come right up to me and sniff my hand, but um, she's not quite sure of me yet. But Mama Goat will, when I go in there and sit down, she comes right over to me. I can scratch her and love on her and she's, she's happy, but. Yeah, they're taming down a whole lot. Yep. So. All right, let's go check on, we'll, go check on pigs? Yeah, I guess Let's so. go check on pigs. <laughs> There's Mama Pig. Mama Pig uh, has not had her babies just yet. She's, but getting, she's getting bigger closer and bigger. And closer for sure. Don't give her all of it, buddy. Just a little bit. Yeah. There's some. All right, that's good. I think she there. She goes. Mmm. Slappy slap. <laughs> yep. We're soaking our pig feed for five days. Five days. So it gets nice and nice and soupy and nutrient dense. Fermented. And fermented. Yep. She's a good pig. She is. Look how tall she is now. Her body. Yeah. She's definitely going to have piglets. Just a matter of time, isn't it, Jacob? Huh? Yep. Mm-hmm. I see our lips. All right, well, there's the future mommy pig. I like to call him Mr. Pig. There he is. He doesn't have a name, but his name is Mr. Pig. Mr. Pig. <laughs> they right. call him Mr. Give him a little pig. Bit, yeah. Because he he's got a lot of food in there still to root around and get. Alright, whoa, that's good. Alright. Jackie dumps a little bit of feed into their feeder to distract them. And that pig found the electric fence. And they are all doing great. A bunch of healthy, happy pigs, yep. aren't they, Jack? They look yep. good. good. There's the baby pig. Baby. <laughs> All right, we're down here at the little chickens, and uh, we had one loss during the night. So, um. Not sure what that's about, if it was just a weak chicky or maybe it got smashed by all the other chicks, I'm not sure. But, um, I mean, so that happens. So, but everybody else looks very healthy. You gotta get them some water. We might have to get a second water because they went through yeah, that water like seven and a half yeah. gallons of water. Pretty quickly. Yeah. So, we're gonna get them some water and top off their feeders. See if I can get it to focus on chickens in there instead of a... They're all under the shade. <laughs> They're all following us. Hi, chickens and turkeys. Creek water. I think the creek's awful convenient right there, isn't it? It's is very convenient. <laughs> I don't think we need to move them yet. This tractor is really big. 
Yeah, I think for this fine. number of chickens, so I think they're good for probably at least another day. It will reevaluate tomorrow. Probably will move it tomorrow. Yeah. This one old feeder here doesn't do very well feeding the feed out. Not good. We'll have to figure out. We'll got. We'll have to get another waterer. Yeah, definitely. Because they've got to have plenty of water. water all the time. They're fed and watered. Definitely have to get another waterer. Yeah, they um, they drink all their water. They need more water. So they look pretty happy though. But there's so many of them that when you do fill the water, they're like all smushed in there. The one that was dead was near the waterer, so I'm wondering if that's what happened. It got smashed under the other turkey. <laughs> it's not very happy about mm -hmm. you holding it, is it, Kylie? Put me down, put me down. That's funny. So we need to go let the other chickens out. Get the, other layers. the other layers down here by the creek, which you haven't seen them in a while. And um, then we'll go check on the heifers. Yeah, we can go check on the heifers right here. Oh, well, yeah, rather than walk. Yep. We'll just be on this side of the fence. Okay. Here's our heifers. And Gertie. And mm -hmm. Gertie. She is doing a lot better. She's still a little bit um, unsteady on her feet sometimes. She kind of yeah. wobbles sometimes. But overall, she's really doing a lot better. Um, I guess we haven't updated on her in a little while. So no, we haven't. You saw us let her out. We let her out with Cookie and Clary over in this area. Um, and the next morning was it just one night she was out yeah the next morning she had Derek and them were moving cows taking cows and she fell in the creek um just she got unsteady and kind of flipped into the creek thank goodness they were out here jack took off running and grabbed her and kind of helped her get up so we took her back to the barn and we moved cattle panels where she could go outside the back of the barn and go in the barn so she could be out and in the shade um just since the hills i guess we figured they were a little much on her so then Derek moved heifers and one heifer was not cooperating. Mm -mm. So we took Gertie and put her in in the back pasture little spot where we had Cookie and Clary and Rusty together for a while um, before. And it's just a slope. It's not really hilly and there's no creek or anything. So um, they were over there for a few days and we brought them around and put them in with the heifers here. And we've been keeping an eye on her because obviously it's a hill. Um, but she seems to be doing really, really well with it. Yeah, she's, she's definitely improving. Fine. She'll come, and she's shedding out, which is great. That shows um, she's getting healthier. So that reminds me, I need to move the minerals back in oh here yeah, today too. Oh yeah, they need minerals. We've yep. got the mineral feeder we're playing, <laughs> moving around. The homemade mineral feeder. Yeah, so. and uh, so I think she's doing really well, and all these heifers look good. And then there's the little Jimmy, the uh, Jersey bottle calf. He's still. <laughs> He'll be weaned soon. He was born in January, so he's about ready to be weaned. But, um, there goes Gertie. She says, I'm done with y'all. Yeah, she's like, they she's have walking them. on. But she, yeah, she's walking straight now. She's not leaning to the right. So I think she is well on her way to, to recovery. Yep, that's a relief. Yeah, a huge relief because we were pretty, pretty concerned about her for a while there. But, yep. <laughs> so, anyway. Well, okay. I Let's go let those chickens out. Yeah. Jack is going to let these chickens out and feed them and then they're going to scratch around on here all day. They're still not getting a whole lot of eggs from these chickens, but they are starting feathers. to feather back out a little bit. Yep. Here's Clary. She's coming to check things out. All right, so here's these chickens. Hey guys. They're running around. Hey guys. Scratching. Yep. Feathering back out finally. They were molting when we got them. And uh, so we're starting to get a few eggs, maybe four to five eggs a day right now. 
and um, I'm sure that'll just continue to increase but they're all doing good I still haven't moved their chicken coop if that's what you want to call it but uh <laughs> I don't know it's working though and all these chickens stay down here hang on Jakey I'm doing a video all right is there one inside the coop Jack I heard one in there are there any eggs buddy Let's check and see, see if there's any eggs down. yet yep I believe she's working on jumping down she's trying to get her nerve up no, no eggs. Okay. All right. I was going to show you the cows, but they are over there hanging out in the cedar trees in the shade because it is. I thought they were just being camera shy. Oh, well, I think they're. You were goofy. <laughs> I think they're just hanging out in the shade, babe. It's hot today. Like if it's going to be. I'd be in the shade. Yeah, I know. It's going to be in the 80s. So they're over there hanging out where it's cool. Yeah, we went from. 50s were the highs like mid 50s a few days ago and last weekend having frost to now it's like 80 degrees out here yeah it was like this weather is Clary's crazy roof. yeah clary's peeing so anyway all righty